What's up everyone? Alison here from AJ Living. Today I am doing day 10 of, day 10, sorry, so sorry, day 6 of interval running with 10 sets. That's where the 10 comes from. So today we're going to be doing that um, and we'll see how the day goes because day's good. The sun's out, there's hardly any clouds in the sky. The day is beautiful, so I thought I'd just, you know, I thought I'd go for a little bit of walk, a little bit of stroll, because today is Australia Day uh, here in Australia, so public holiday, beautiful morning, and why not just enjoy the morning? Okay, so for the first time <laughs> since using the Tibetan timer, I've always wondered how to mix music in with my running because all I've been doing this whole time is actually running without any music and I just realized that there is actually a music section that you can select songs from your library on the app I only just discovered that now like seriously but I'm gonna use it and it's gonna be good okay so I finished my 10 sets, my heart rate, it's 147 right now. It has dropped in the last few seconds. It was 152. With a 10 minute warm up and the running, the 10 sets, I've done it in 22 minutes and 45 seconds. So now what I'm gonna do is do the rest of my walk, go home and do some stretching. <sighs> I love the music, the music was great. It distracted me from counting down how many more sets I have to do. Uh, Cause like I said, when I first started, I'm not a runner. So all this is really new to me. You know, I scratched that. I am a runner. I've done it. I am doing it. And you can be whatever you want to be too. So like in my other video, I said that jogging or any form of exercise increases the lungs intake capacity for air. So I'm back home. I have done it in 45 minutes, 282 calories, and it looks like I actually walked a bit slower today because I did it in about four kilometers, which was longer than yesterday. Um, oh well, that's all right. I'll get better at it. But I just wanted to touch base with you guys and just tell you my feelings about the difference between running and or jogging and walking. I used to love walking because it was very low impact, um, not a lot of stress on the body. And that's probably what I needed at the time. And then I got into weight training and I love weight training, but I don't always do that on a regular basis. And then all of a sudden I started to run and I love running. I love doing the interval running because I feel I am at that level where I can actually do it now. And that was a build up. I had to build up to that strength and I am still building up to that as well. And hopefully I'll be able to run more often, longer and get fitter from it. I feel my body changing as I'm doing the running more so than when I was doing walking or weightlifting for that matter. Um, my calf muscles feel tighter. Everything is just feeling a lot tighter and I feel a lot healthier I feel everything expanding my lungs my heart like everything is just pumping so I just wanted to let you guys know how what I'm feeling between when I first started with just walking to now welcome guys uh, welcome back to our kitchen you've seen Jason in here usually um, because he's the cook I'm not really the cook uh, but what I do is I thought I'd take you through what I do for my breakfast in the morning. On a weekend, I don't normally have a routine because my routine during the week gets me up at 4.50 a.m. every morning and I have a strict routine to go to work and everything like that. But on a weekend, I like to take my time. I wake up whenever I do and then I go on my exercise, which you guys have seen in the morning. And then what I'm going to do now is just show you exactly what I do and what I put in to make my smoothie. So I have here a five, 650ml container. And then what I do is I have spinach. We buy a whole bag of spinach, because just for me alone, pretty much. 
And all I do is I just take like a bunch of spinach, you know, I don't really measure. I just kind of freely put it in, you know, don't, you know, that looks like enough. Then have an, a quarter of an avocado. That goes in. Don't forget to throw all your stuff away. Quarter of an avocado. Blueberries. Blueberries are amazing. Blueberries are low in sugar, low in calories. Uh, frozen blueberries are just great for this smoothie. I've only just started using blueberries. I used to put apples in here, um, but I find blueberries just, they're even better. So what I do is put my container on the scale, turn the scale on, and then I just measure about 50 grams. And then what I do is I put a frozen banana in. So about half a banana. That goes in there. Ooh. Don't forget the vital green. So we've been loving Vital Green. Jason got me onto Vital Green. How long now, Jason? A couple of months. A couple of months. We started yeah. last year. Yeah. Yeah. Two or three months. Um, just it's awesome stuff. Seventy-eight vital ingredients. Just amazing stuff, and it's actually got a really pleasant taste. So I'll put in two scoops. Good if you're vegetarian. Yeah, vegan. yeah, absolutely. Uh, and then we've got our protein powder. I love the protein powder. It's from Bulk Nutrients. Um, it's a pea protein. Uh, we both started using pea protein when we both became vegetarian again last year. I prefer pea protein over whey protein because I find that whey protein is a bit heavier on my stomach. Um, so, yeah. For me... Uh, I guess with Jason as well, pea protein is the way to go. Mm, yeah. Yep. So I've got both a um, a chocolate and raw protein. I use the raw during the week for my work. And then the chocolate on the weekend because that makes it yummy. Scoop of that. Then we bring the water over and I kind of judge roughly to where the max is. This is all by eye. Maybe a little bit more. On goes the lid. So all I do is I just put it on blend. Et voila, my morning smoothie. Hope you enjoy that. I'm actually going to make Jason's now. His is slightly different to mine. He doesn't like spinach and he prefers ice cold water, whereas I, I actually prefer room temperature water. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the walk today as well, all the running as well. Uh, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment and I will see you tomorrow for the next interval running. See ya. Thank you.